I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn what's up scorpios this is 1020 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video scorpios how y'all doing thank you so much for being a part of my everyday life y'all okay you be like this make a video every day we'll be here we'll show up i really appreciate you guys i really appreciate your love the likes the subscribes i am a little behind on my comments okay my comment days are tuesdays and thursdays so on those two days you'll get like all of the responses that you know have happened in the last couple of weeks but because of ty's birthday i was a little delayed you know i had to drop some bands for my baby now that we back to business, we got to go at the work. You feel me? Okay, so let's see for my Scorpios. Let's see what's going on for my Scorpios, all right? So Scorpio, we have the cheetah, okay? Get clear on your intentions. Stay focused. Move quickly to achieve your goals. So Scorpio, you can't let nobody slow you down, okay? Can nobody hold me down? Oh, no. I got to keep on moving. So Scorpio, you got to keep moving, okay? You and that cheetah energy anyway. You like, I got to do this. I got to do that. Da, 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 da. And Spirit is telling you, yeah, achieve those goals. Check that shit off the list. You know, don't stake your mind out. Make your booty shine. Just do what you need to do. And you got a clear vision. You know where you're going, what you got to do to execute what needs to happen. And you good, okay? Cheetahs be doing that shit looking good too you know a cheetah coat be nice and shit it don't be having like you know lollipop stuck in the hair or nothing you know cheetahs be looking real clean okay so scorpio you could be looking clean and you could be getting the job done baby all right looking sexy okay like aquaman when that nigga be coming out the water scorpio be wary if you just had a dream about a dog or some shit this dog ain't loyal okay this dog came out. So you might have someone that you've been friends with for many years. They are riding on your coattail, okay? They could be putting those years on you as if they are loving you, but Spirit is telling you have a clear mind. Stay away from this person's webs. You're loyal and faithful, okay? So this person could have a dog, okay? But just know this person is not loyal. They are not faithful. Get up out of this person's energy. This person could be an energy vampire as well. All right, so Scorpio, you got somebody out here that's not loyal to you. You need to let them go. All right, Scorpio, also, you're going to get a lot of support from a trusted group and like-minded friends. So, Scorpio, your friend's going to come up for you. You could be in a bind or something. You could be like, damn, I don't know what I'm going to do. Your friend's going to be like, oh, yeah, I got you. I can handle it. You're going to be like, damn, solid, okay? Scorpio, also, it says... You are going to go through a lot of emotional healing and it's way overdue, okay? You could be seeing like a, a weird bird too. Um... You need, you've been going outside, you've been grounding yourself, you've been eating right, you've been doing what you need to do, and all this slow little steps that you're doing is going to give you a lot of momentum, okay? So you've been slowly changing particular habits. It says, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spirit of, in, in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. So Scorpio, you're going to have to stand up for all your rights, all right? And these rights could be different. A lot of you guys are learning a lot of information and you just want to tell it. And spirit is telling you, that's why you're here. You're here to spread the truth. And yes, it's going to be controversial. Yes, people are going to be like, oh my God, I cannot believe you said that about the Bible or the Quran or whatever it is, but it's going to be said, okay? And you might be one of the people that could be the ones to tell it, okay? Spirit is telling you, in spite of all the people and the judgment that's going to come across you, fuck them, okay? Fuck these people and their judgment. It's your job to say what you need to say. And the people that believe you, the people that want to wake up, the people that want to hear what the fuck you got to say, they will hear it. It is not your job to be with Jehovah Witness doing and knock this shit over people's head because that's annoying. You know you hate when them fucking people come over your house early in the morning. That shit is disrespectful as hell. The sheriff could pass your house. I don't know why the sheriff is coming around, but there's a sheriff here. Okay, there's a sheriff in town. This could be your kid's toy, okay? You could recently see a sheriff and be like, damn, I need to clean up my car or something. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with these hoes, okay? There's some hoes in this house. I don't know where they came from, okay? 
All right, so Scorpio, somebody is over it. They're like, you're not going to play me. You're not going to cheat on me no more. I'm tired of this, Scorpio. I'm, I'm tired of this, okay? I'm over it, okay? So somebody just feeling like a raggedy end dog. Somebody feel like you just threw them to the side. Like, oh, you didn't just act like I ain't shit, okay? Somebody just got thrown. You see this Barbie doll? Like, damn, bitch, what the hell they do to your hair? Okay, so some somebody is over it. They mad. They mad as hell. Whoever this is, they like, fuck you. Mm, and, ooh, oh, shit. Mm. this is juicy all right scorpio in this episode of the scorpios and the young and the restless okay so somebody had a surprise pregnancy this week somebody found out that somebody was pregnant and this was shocking this was the other woman of the other woman of the other woman of the other woman of the other woman okay so there was one two three four five six seven eight it was eight motherfuckers in this reading okay so this man could have been having sex with eight women this woman could have been having sex with eight men now she pregnant she pregnant now she do know who she pregnant by okay and for some of you guys this man is pregnant with this woman and he's keeping it a secret but it is about to be revealed okay and somebody's just gonna be over it not only are they gonna be over it they're gonna be vindictive as fuck we got important message so somebody is out here acting like they are fucking grand uh you know this is the bridgerton you know how the bridgerton bulletin this is what this person is this person is writing a letter to all of these karmics this girl this girl this boy all these people okay to tell everyone that there is someone that has another woman or another man and they are pregnant and they're upset so somebody is really hurt they're really angry they're super frustrated they're writing all these fucking important messages okay trying to get this message out to let everybody know that somebody is pregnant this also could be somebody trying to let somebody know that somebody's pregnant like girl did you hear tisha was pregnant did you hear shannon and steve is having a baby did you hear da 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 da, -da? okay somebody's name could be rachel okay somebody's name could be james as well okay so somebody's name could be kyle all right there's a kyle here as well so somebody is just spreading that somebody is pregnant and this is not this person's fucking business you need to mind your own fucking business if you are a female calling around telling people that people that is their business when people post their baby that's when they want to post it somebody's just over it they bitter they sad and they sending out all these messages to all these women and all these men disrupting people now if you going around bothering somebody who's pregnant you deserve to get your motherfucking ass whooped don't nobody need to be disturbing nobody that that's pregnant and that's some real fucked up shit let's see what the fuck the confessions are with this dumbass karma niggas be doing this shit too this nigga could be walking around like yeah you know she pregnant she got pregnant on me that shit fucked up you know i gave her all this money that's your dumb ass giving that girl all that money i hate when people try to blame people for stuff when they find out that people are involved with other people you never said you was exclusive with this person you wasn't this person boyfriend you wasn't this person girlfriend it says i didn't know we had a soul contract with each other this soul contract well fucked up some of y'all need to stop fucking these girls okay because they toxic this is a Barbie doll burnt over with bad end, end, ends and fucked up split ends, okay? So this person is really doing the most to fuck somebody's shit up, okay? They sending important messages all over the place, texting people. They just look like a goddamn idiot. Some of these girls will look like an idiot for a nigga. It says, I want to reconcile with you and trap you with a baby. So now this girl or this boy, however way it go, called all these people caused all these problems even to a pregnant person revealed that this person was pregnant and now this person want to come scorpio and they still want to fuck you and they still want to trap you with a baby because they want to they want to be pregnant just like this bitch over here what the fuck is wrong with y'all i don't know what the fuck is going on with this reading but this is fucking crazy scorpios you could be the feminine energy in here that walked away from this situation and then you could be finding out okay that this nigga got a baby and that one of these bitches is walking around so they can get pregnant by his ass too or her ass or whatever way it goes because i am straight okay it's hard for me to do two ways but y'all know how it goes okay some of y'all this person gay and they showing up with a baby but they trying to have a gay baby with somebody else and i'm not saying the baby's gay i'm just saying they trying to have a baby and they had sex with somebody so they can get pregnant and take their child with someone else and you didn't even know they were doing that okay it says, I miss the great sex we had. I masturbate to your photos. This person still masturbates to this dude's photos. But they over here telling all these girls. Look at all these fucking girls. All this shit about this secret pregnancy. And even if this is a dude, dudes talk. They like, yeah, oh, shawty pregnant. She pregnant about all my old dude. I know that nigga, blah, blah, blah. And this little talking nigga is telling everybody. Any bitch they can. Any nigga they can, all right? But they still stuck up on this girl. So this nigga could be having sex with this girl even though she pregnant, okay? Okay. 
I'm just telling y'all, niggas be doing that, okay? Like, it ain't my baby, but you know I love you. Like, what? I was reckless with your feelings, and now I'm feeling guilty. So, this person feels very bad about going to all these women and saying all this shit. This person feels very bad about going to all these men and telling them what was going on because they still love you, but they was just hurt. They was hurt that you hit a baby. They was hurt that you did all of this shit. But don't fuck with this bitch. This bitch is throat as fuck, and they gonna keep doing this shit, Okay um people need to take accountability you walking around doing reckless stuff and then you're gonna feel guilty after you hurt all these women you have to pay for every woman you got to pay for this woman who got this baby in her stomach if she cried when she was in the, when this baby was in her stomach you have to pay for any pain that this baby goes through or or cause you got to pay you got to be crying over this bitch so it was some bitch here with african hair who wear you know back in the day clips in her hair and shit and she be wearing these little old dresses or something. I ain't trying to knock you. And maybe she be from New York and she wear hoop earrings. You got to pay for this. He could have took this bitch on a picnic. You got to pay for breaking this girl heart. You got to, you got to, you know. And this bitch thinks she doing everybody a favor by opening her fucking mouth and carrying all this fucking information. Then she got to pay for all these bitches over here on the block. All these people she hurt. She got to pay for all these tears too. This person going to rack up a lot of debt. They're going to be very miserable. Okay, and they're going to feel guilty. That's why I be telling people, stay out of people's business. If you find out your nigga is cheating or your bitch is cheating, it's not your job to go to their main bitch and light their shit up. Your job is to get the fuck out of the situation and stay out. Don't go back in and try to get him or try to get her. Let her figure out what the fuck she got going on. And you figure out what the fuck you got going on because you could have an STD fucking with all these goddamn people. Okay, look, this bitch pregnant, this girl over here, this a Barbie doll, so somebody couldn't be fake as fuck. And then look, a whole wall lineup of different girls, two strand twists, regular fucking hair, a shortcut, a long braid, okay, a big girl, a thick girl, a girl who likes shredded pants, a girl who like plaited shirts, a girl who like rompers. It's a, it's a lot of bitches over here, okay? And this person was reckless. They tried to do whatever they could to destroy you, you know, drag your name, talk shit about you, everything, but they still call you, tell you they want to suck your dick. They still call you, tell you they want to eat you out. What kind of fucking shit is this? What kind of fucking shit is this? This is crazy. It says your ancestors are whooping my ass, okay? So, Scorpio, sometimes you need to hit a bitch with silence. Don't talk to that hoe. Cut that hoe off, okay? Sometimes it's best for you to withdraw because this person is crazy anyway. They don't want you. They want you, but they don't want these people to want you. So, they outed you to all these people, okay? They hurt all these people, made all these people cry. They did. That's what they did. But they still masturbate to your photos. They still want to fuck with you, though. They still want to have sex with you. But they're not going to be able to do so. Some of y'all need to walk away from this shit. Because this person is some bullshit. Damn. This card all went down. Let's see what this card says, Scorpios. Oh, come here. You're too amazing to follow everybody else. Forge your own path. So, Scorpio, out of the mist of the ashes, even if you the nigga who got cheated on with all these bitches or whatever the fuck this shit is, spirit, spirit is saying you have a, a way to get out of this. And the way to do that is to be authentic, to be your authentic self, follow your own intuition and forge your own path. So, a lot of these men in this situation and female, they're going to come out of this victorious because they're going to keep it 100 Somebody's bad behavior is going to speak louder than words and volumes, okay? Damn, that shit is crazy. It says, stop looking outside yourself for answers. You already know them. Damn. So whoever this female was, they were looking for somebody to be sad with. They was looking for somebody to be depressed with. And Spirit is telling you, bitch, stop doing that. That nigga, whoever this nigga is, that's a guy. I hate gossiping ass niggas. You were snitching. Your twin is a snitch too. I can't even remember how it go, but damn, shut up, nigga. Okay? So you got to stop looking outside yourself for answers. Stop dragging this girl name. Stop doing all this fuck shit. These niggas be lame too, y'all. I'm telling y'all, all right? You already know what's up. You already know what's up. You still like this girl or you still like this boy and you mad this boy didn't choose your dumb ass. That's what this is about. So you don't want this person to have nobody to choose, but baby, they still gonna have somebody to choose, okay? You might be over the situation. This person might have lost everybody fucking with this hoe, though, because everybody upside down. So they might have lost the girl who was pregnant. They might have might the off the other girl who might have been nice. They lost all the karmics. Okay, because somebody's sending messages. They out here. Look at this bitch. Determined. You need to know who he is. You need to know who he is. Some of these girls just don't get it. They don't get it, baby. They don't get it. All right? I want to go. I'm going to do a last confession card. 
What's the last confession card for this storyline? All right, that was quick. If this person was married, they're still in love with their husband. If this person was married, they're still in love with their wife. So they did all of this because maybe they didn't want to be by themselves. It says, I still love my first wife. So if this person was um, a man, he still love his first wife and he don't want to lose you because you his side. And if this is a woman, she didn't want to lose you because she she lost her husband. She wasn't going to lose her side boo too, okay? But this person could have lost everything fucking with you, Scorpio, because you was this person's lesson, all right? Not they blessing. Keep it tight. Make it right. I holla. Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fake shit. They don't really like people switching up, and they can't be kinda controlling like bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them cred If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen, no you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint, man, you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you